uncompacted heap of soil has a volume of 10000 meter cube and void ratio 1 if the soil is compacted to a volume of 7500 meter cube then the corresponding void ratio of the compacted soil is so let us give first soil is in the stage of 10000 meter cube volume okay let us say this is v1 then it has the void ratio 1 then what happened it is compact compacted to a volume of 7500 uh, meter cube let us say this is v2 then what is the void ratio so e2 is how much okay uh, let us change the color of the okay so solution just uh, we need to know what is the void ratio first okay void ratio which is denoted by e this is volume of voids to the volume of solids okay what does soil contain soil contain solids plus voids and what does voids contain again voids can be filled by water and or air okay it can be filled by water and air or it can be filled by only water or only air so anyway so solids you can't change the volume of the solids solids means what soil particles you can't change the solids uh, if the volume of the soil is changing so volume of the volume of the soil can be referred by just v whereas uh, volume of the solids can be referred by vs volume of the voids can be referred by v v so this is v vs will not change v can change okay vs will not change is constant okay v can change so this change in the total volume is due to change in the volume of voids there is no change in vs you should remember this now here void ratio which is denoted by e uh, uh, defined by the ratio of vv to vs let's see now uh, let's write the given data first okay given data what is the given data v1 equal to 10000 meter cube v2 is given by 7000 meter cube whereas e1 is given by 1 e2 should be found out okay so what will i do first i'll write e equal to vv by vs so somehow if we can bring total volume in this formula or any changes to this formula bringing that v into this picture we can use that v and e so what what is v as we know v is vv plus vs right so let's uh, just add okay 1 to uh, lhs and rhs then here then what can we do vs plus vv by vs whereas vs plus v is v vs now i want to bring volume of solids to one side why what can you write you can write like this why as the volume of solids will not change i just want to make a formula which gives volume of solids okay that is the reason i as it doesn't change now vs1 is v1 by 1 plus e1 vs2 is v2 by 1 plus e2 does volume of solid change it does not change so what can we write v1 by because vs1 equal to vs2 always right vs1 equal to vs2 that's the reason why i can write this now substitute what is v1 10000 what is e1 1 what is v2 7500 what is e2 e2 is e2 we don't we don't know just change 253 sa 254 sa right here 2 22 sa 
right now 1 plus e2 is 3 by 2 isn't it then e2 is 1.5 minus 1 therefore e2 equal to 0.5 okay so e2 equal to how much 0.5 